I'd like to welcome you very much for this session of today, where we would like to put in the center our work in Nepal. We think that Isimot is benefiting the hospitality of the government of Nepal, but also of the people of Nepal. Being in Nepal, for us as a regional intergovernmental organization, is a very important asset. We would have no other possibility in this region to have such an easy access by all the member countries and the professionals and technical staff of the member countries to attend conferences, to attend seminars, and to be here. We are in a very privileged situation in the Hindu Kush Himalaya. Uh, how Nepal uh, benefits, but more importantly, how Nepal also contributes in regional program. I think that is also for Nepal uh, uh, something which we think is very important. We have two types of uh, approach. We, uh, we call it uh, national uh, activities or approach. Uh, we work with our cooperation partners, like many of the departments and NGOs. Uh, and the area which we would be uh, we focus is of uh, strategic importance that they generate knowledge which are of uh, regional importance. <coughs> but we are very uh, uh, particular that this should be uh, this should reflect the priority of Nepal. And uh, it provides uh, uh, knowledge skills. It, it uh, actually mainstreams some of the uh, research based knowledge into the government program. And the lead is with the government uh, organization. So. We the other approach is a regional approach. Uh, now, here we have to have at least four countries participating in these type of activities. And these partners are all, all strategic partners because they also contribute in the, in the process. Uh, ISIMOR takes the lead uh, because we, as a coordinator, we will uh, facilitate the design and uh, defining of the common protocol and methodologies. Your knowledge developing and your learning centers are contributing a lot in the different sector in this region, particularly on behalf of NPC from all ministries and on behalf of Nepal government. I like to say thank you again, Ishimo, you are located in a wonderful place in Nepal, and your contribution to with us, with our development partners and our civil society as well government, your contribution is highly regarded as a high class, quality class, professional class. So in this juncture, I like to say your job should go continuing. So in this uh, concern, your knowledge management, whatever you have been achieved, is a great asset to us. And the achievements of your leaders, which I want to highlight again, ownership and participation in national program, induced basin issues, raised land, energy issues, and red issues. How to increase ownership by the development partners and country uh, ownership? It is another uh, initiation you have to take. Diversified and targeted knowledge products used by increased number of partners are highly appreciated. From Nepal development perspective, we as NPC, we like to appreciate what you have done but there are few challenges and we want to have your focus for Nepal on climate change issues, mountain alliance which we are going to build up with your technical backup support, and we want to address the issues of mountain people. We are working with different civil society organizations, bilateral, multilateral, INGO, NGO, and equally working closely with intergovernmental institutions, ISIMO here. And who, who is contributing and developing developing science and knowledge in a very very from the very beginning, just in the launching of this poetry protocol, when there was not thought of that age. So we said in since 2003, this uh, project Koicho, Think Global, Act Local, Isimod is generating knowledge and science in this. And also we had joint side event in COP15 and also in World Forestry Congress recently in 2009 in Argentina. We are working now in developing our readiness preparation proposal, which is supported by World Bank supported forest carbon partnership facility. 
And we prepared at the beginning RP called uh, the Indian Plan Ideal Not, which was voluntarily prepared by the contribution of different donors and development agencies working in the Nepal. And Isimod is one of them. There are uh, 20 potential glacial lakes based on the study done by the Isimod in 2001. And many potential dangerous glacial lakes are located in, in Tibet, but the effect can be expected in Nepal too. And uh, with support from Ishimod, we carried out vulnerability study uh, in, in four potentially a bluff area, a watershed, an Inza, Sololpa, and Bodikosi. Ishimod has contributed a lot on uh, four aspects of the bluff. One is the data risk development, and methodology development, information dissemination, and sharing, and capacity. AC Mode has started advocacy to constitute House and Energy Development Committee. Also, capacity building of HNCC, GPR, and private sectors. Support for the function of HNCC Secretary. Bring HNCC in the front front of setting up and managing MapsNet e database. HNCC is, uh, is uh, implementing agency for a small project that we are implementing in far western development of region of Nepal this medicinal plants and hops developing uh, sustainable chain and enhancing road level in eastern Himalayas. This policy review conducted with support from Isimod. And the lack of rail line policy, uh, the need for rail line po policy has been highlighted uh, in the uh, national biodiversity strategy and also it has been recognized as one of the areas to be addressed by the current three-year interim plan. So while developing the uh, rangeland policy, so we had uh, we had collaboration with uh, Ishimor and some other organizations. Letter of agreement was signed between DLS and Ishimor in 2008 for formulation of national rangeland policies. So there were both technical as well as financial support from the Ishimor. So from the rangeland policy formulation exercise. Stakeholder coordination is strengthened. Isimod and the NTNC's uh, overall mandate fits quite close because we are also uh, uh, NGO organized by the Parliament of Nepal. We have been actually working with Isimod since the late 90s in parcel land development with the initial starting of a grass seed bank in Jongsom. After that, we have now gone into RRP1 to now we are in the third. Because of the wide experience of Ismod in different countries in the hindu kush Himalayan region, the knowledge sharing and the technology transfer is very important to institutions like NTNC, which is only Nepal based. When you bring a new technology transfer or when you share knowledge, it will definitely benefit the local community. That is what we aim at. And also, it will help us to manage our natural resources in a more sustainable manner. Study and assessment facilitating project interventions. We get knowledge from the ECMOD on this particular area. Similarly, to find out gaps in technology interventions or NTFPs, maps, domestication, land and water management research and demonstrations. We get technological support knowledge support from the AC mode. Uh, I think for me the most important uh, conclusion of the day is that I think we should continue doing it. Uh, we should not wait 25 years for the next Nepal Day with the partners. We should do it in a year's time. Maybe we should focus more on exchange of information. Maybe we should then also be working more in working groups and not just in plenary so that the exchange is more that dynamic and the mutual learning is better and um, I would like to thank you very much